Hey guys, welcome back. In a previous video, we looked at how to create a regular user account as well as a pseudo user on Ubuntu 24.04. So in case you missed that, here's the link above. Now in this video, we go a step further and look at how to list all users on a Linux system. There are two broad categories of user accounts on a Linux system. We have system user accounts as well as the regular user accounts. Now we're going to have a look at both of these. Starting with the system user accounts. Now system user accounts are created by the system or during software installation. And these are used for running system processes and services. Now system user accounts typically have no login access and their UIDs are below 1000. So for example, we have the www-data account for running web servers like Apache. Okay, so that's a brief summary about the system user accounts. Now let's come to the regular user accounts. The regular user accounts are created by the root or sudo user and these have login access or access to the system and these users can install software, uh, modify files, execute commands and carry out pretty much any system administration tasks. Now regular user accounts also have a home directory and they have UIDs that are greater by 1000. So that's a brief summary about the two user accounts. Now let's get down to business and see how to list users on a Linux system. To start off, we are going to look at how to list all the users on a Linux system. Now user information is usually stored in the password file. Okay. Now you can view this file using the cat command as shown. So simply run the command cat slash etsy slash password like that and hit enter. So as you can see, this is a file that contains user information separated by full columns. Okay. So this file contains all the users, both system and regular users. All right. Now you can achieve the same output by running the get ENT command and simply specifying the name of the file itself without specifying the full path. So here we have password. Okay. So the get ENT command is used to query and retrieve entries from system databases. Okay. So just hit enter. And as you can see, we get all the information of, uh, the current users. So here you can see we have the root user here and towards the end of the file. Now we can see uh, our regular users here. All right. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is quite a bunch of information and this needs further text processing. Okay. So to list only the usernames for all the users, here is how you can, you can go about it. You can run the get ENT command, okay, password, then pipe this output to org command, all right, then pass the hyphen F flag. So this statement here, org hyphen F, this tells org that what separates these fields is a colon separator like that, okay. Now here we are going to print the first column of the file, which contains the usernames only. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to enclose this in double quotation mark in uh, single quotes like that. So here, I'm going to have double curly braces. So here, I'm going to have print, then dollar sign one, like that. Okay. So this portion here of the command print dollar sign one this prints out the first field which contains the username so here this portion prints out the entries in the password file and this is processed processed further by this information here so this uh, specifies the colon separator and here this prints out the first column only so let's see how the output now looks so i'm gonna hit enter and as you can see we have now printed the usernames only. Okay. And this can also be achieved using the cat command. Okay. So let me just go to the previous command here. 
So here, instead of the get ENT command, we can also run cat forward slash Etsy forward slash password like that and hit enter. And as you can see, we get the same output. All right. Now, let's now see how to list regular user accounts on Linux. In this section, we are going to look at how to list regular users only on a Linux system. So in our previous section, we looked at how to list all the users. OK, and this is the command we used to achieve this uh, fit. OK, now, as we said earlier, regular users have a UID that is greater than 999. OK, so what you're going to do to this command here, all you need to do is to add this flag. So here inside the single quotes, what you're going to do is to define the UID argument. So here you're going to have dollar sign three. So here we have dollar sign three greater than 999 like that. OK. So here, what you're going to have is that this specifies the users whose UID is greater than 999. So the dollar sign three represents the UID, which is the third column in the password file. OK, so let me now hit enter. And this is the output you get. OK, so these are all the regular users on the system and they have uids greater than 999 so we can confirm this by running the command id mark and hit enter so as you can see mark has a uid of 1000 okay we can have id cherry so cherry has a uid of 1001 uh, let's say id bill uh, Bill has 1002 and finally we have ID George and George has a UID of 1003 okay so that's how you go about listing uh, regular user accounts on a system so as you can see you only need to pass this argument here all right so this filters the UIDs greater than 999 and this prints out the first column okay and you need to enclose this in a single quotation mark here as you can see above okay so that's it for this section in the next section we are going to see how to display users that belong to a specific group on linux on linux different users belong to different groups Okay, now you can display the users that belong to a certain group using the get ENT command. So here, just run the command get ENT group, then followed by the group name. So for example, if you want to check users belong, belonging to the group called sudo, you're going to run the command get ENT group sudo. Then we're going to type this to awk hyphen f with a colon here. All right then we are going to print out the fourth flag or the fourth item in the or the fourth column in the password file so here i'm gonna have a print statement so here inside the print print statement we are going to have print then underscore or rather dollar sign four like that okay so this prints out this one prints out the fourth column in the groups file, sorry, okay. So just hit enter. And as you can see, these are the users separated by a comma that are part of the sudo group, okay. So this command will check the group file, okay. And inside the group file, it will print the users that belong to the sudo group, okay. Now let's just briefly check out the group file using the cat command so the command will be etsy group okay so this is a group file and this is how it looks like okay so here you can see we have a group called sudo all right 
So this is the first column, the second column, the third column, and the fourth column contains the users, okay, which we have just seen here, all right, Mark, Cherry, and Bill, okay, and we can further prove this using the command groups, uh, Cherry, so you can see Cherry is part of sudo, similarly, we can have uh, Bill, okay, and also Mark. All right, so that's how you display users that belong to a certain group on a Linux system. So all you need to do is to use this command here. So get intent group. So this reads the group file and checks for the group you've specified in this case sudo and this prints out the fourth column in that file which prints out the usernames okay and the output uh, comprises of all the usernames separated by a comma all right now in our last section we are going to list the system users now let's see how to list system users only on a linux system so just to recap this is a command we used to print uh, regular users okay so here this option prints out the third column or rather specifies uh, the uids that are greater than 999 and these are the regular users so for the system users we saw that these are users whose uid is less than 999 so what you need to do is just to change this uh, from greater than to less than okay so this specifies the uids that are less than 999 and in so doing we are going to print out all the system users and as you can see these are all the system users in our system okay so all you needed to do is to just change this from greater than here to the less than symbol okay so this specifies all the uids which are in the third column of the password file which are less than 999 and this automatically references all the system users going by our criteria for the system users and this prints out the first column which are the names of the users in the password file okay so as you can see it's quite easy and this brings us to the end of this lecture. I hope you learned uh, something new and I appreciate your time. So please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel to get more of this content. So in this video, you learned how to list users on a Linux system. So thank you and see you in the next video.